All right. Today we are working on an activity where we get to uh, test some of those lenses that we were just talking about. So the, the one in particular that we like to do is the convex lens. And again, remember a convex lens is thicker in the middle, thinner on the edges. And it produces two types of images. It'll produce a real image. And a real image, of course, is the one that we can actually project onto the screen and a virtual image, and the virtual image, of course, is then the one that we would see as kind of a reflection because it would happen on the same side of the mirror or of the lens um, as um, the object would be, okay? And again, our relationship today is that 1 over F is equal to 1 over DI plus 1 over DO. And so the two values that we're going to be putting into our table today are the distance of the object and the distance of the image. And we'll use that, we'll find our common denominators, very similar to like what we did with the mirror. So the math is going to work kind of the same. Um, items that you're going to need today, um, you're going to need to have two, uh, two of these uh, meter stick holders and a meter stick. You're going to want to double check though, because we want to make sure today that when we put this together, the meter stick isn't wobbly, okay? So I wanted to make sure I grabbed one that was a little thicker and it fit well. If not, I just bend those um, meter stick holders a little bit to make sure that everything fits well. So I'm just going to attach those to that. Okay, and there's only one meter stick today, unlike when we did the mirrors. And it's because uh, we're going to be putting everything in a line. So it's kind of like a telescope. The, mirror, the lens itself is up on the front table and they're in the holders. Um, I am going to tell you right now that not all of the lenses were actually made the same, so they don't all have the same focal length like the mirrors did. And I'm just going to give a little quick clean here to my lens, okay, to make sure that everything's good. Pop it back in, okay, so there's our lens that we're going to be using, okay. Looks like a magnifying lens, and we're going to place that onto our meter stick. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of my meter stick. Now, again, when we make our measurements, we're going to be measuring from the lens itself. So you'll want to make sure that you know where that lens is. So I'm putting it right on the 50 mark. Okay. We're going to need a candle, of course. And the candle is going to be our object. So I'm going to put my object out there. And then we need a screen with a screen holder. So it's just an index card with the screen holder. And I'm going to put that over there, and this is where the image is going to show up. When you have everything all set and ready, uh, just call me over, and I'll actually um, light the candle for you. So we're going to get the candles lit. And we can see now that we're going to try to collect some data. And we're going to do three trials where we're going to collect the distance of the object, the distance of the image. Okay, so those are the two things that we need. So I'm looking at my, uh, my lens right now. I'm going to come back. That's 10 centimeters. And I'm going to go back, okay, so 20 centimeters, let's go 25. So I'll go 25 centimeters back with my object. Um, now comes the task of actually trying to get this image formed. And so I'm going to slide the um, note card until it looks like I have a nice, clean image of... my candle, okay, and it looks like I chose an, a distance that's going to be out here a little ways. So I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to slide this so that I can still make my measurement. So I'm going to bring my candle back, okay, all the way here to the 5 mark. And so now I'm going to still keep that 25, so now I'm going to put my mirror, or my lens, excuse me, on the 30, okay. So now I still have 10 25, still have 25, but now I should be able to get closer to collecting that image. Oh, it looks like my image is still seeing out there, okay? So it looks like I've chosen a, a, a distance that's not going to work real well. So I'm going to go in 5, so I'm going to slide it back 5, so I'm going to start with just 20. Let me see what that does. Okay. Let's go the other direction. Let's go so that we have 30 in each one. Okay, so let's see. So 5, there's 
10, 20, 30. Let me make sure that we have 30 in between. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting an image, and it's actually one that I can see on my meter stick. Okay, so I'm going to get that clean image right there. You can see there's the candle flame kind of flickering, and it is upside down. That's my real image. Now I'm going to measure. So again, I have 30 centimeters here, and I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to get, uh, looks like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 59 it looks like, or uh, 54 centimeters. So I got 54 centimeters as my image distance. Then I just repeat this, okay? So again, I'll repeat this by changing my distance. So maybe I'll make it a little bigger, okay? And then I combine my next one. Three times to make sure that you get those distance of the object, distance of the image, and then we'll be able to do the math from there. And after you've got all your data, blow the candle out, um, make sure that you scrape any wax off the table that may have dripped on there, and put the equipment away. All right? And I'll be around to help uh, with calculations if you need it after.